My throat's burning. It's vlog day 1051. Good morning. It's Sunday, and I'm gonna make a delightfully simple video today talking about what just happened, what's gonna happen. In the sense that I think it's, we need a little bit of a recap. For those of you that are new to the channel, although there hasn't been a huge spike in the last couple of weeks, just a little bit of a recap of kind of what what went down, where I'm at, what I'm thinking, and, and moving forward. I was lucky enough to go get coffee this morning from French Laura and sit and talk a little bit and had some time to think. I'm reading a book about uh, the World's Fair and Eiffel's Tower. I feel like I'm, I'm reading it because somebody recommended it to me. I can't remember who it was, but it's a book about kind of all of the, everything that went on around that. And it's really nice to just kind of immerse myself in what it was and what it is that I love about the city of Paris, both within its history and just, there's a lot to love about this city. And I'm here because I love this city. And sometimes I feel like I might've lost sight of that. So in talking with you today, a lot of the motivation comes from trying to figure out well, where am I with all of this? And what is it exactly that I'm after? Where am I going? And how do I get back to not only just a better sense of health, but a better sense of self-awareness and awareness within the context that I'm living, in particular right now, today, Paris. To recap, I went back to the States for almost two weeks to spend some time with my family because there was kind of a medical emergency going on. Well, there was. It's it's hard to know exactly what all to say, but I went home to help us with the situation with my mom. Thankfully, things seemed to come together okay, and she, as far as I know, uh, is doing really well. She was doing really well when we were talking before I left, and I've talked to, with them more, obviously, since coming back, and things seem to be headed in the right direction. There are a couple of little key pieces I feel like I'm missing. So after I'm done making this video, I'm gonna reach out and make sure that I know what's going on. But in the midst of all that, I spent like the entire time with my dad that first week or eight days back in the States. It was just 100% with my dad. I didn't, I didn't really leave him except to go see my mom, spend some time with her. Basically my mom, as a summary, has uh, a progressive illness called Parkinson's that she was diagnosed with about 12 years ago. She has early onset Parkinson's, which means that she was diagnosed pretty young, uh, back just, just after turning 50 pretty much, which is really early to get it. So there, she's in this really special club. There aren't very many like her. Most people that end up uh, showing signs of Parkinson's and being diagnosed with the illness do so at a later age. And so she's fairly unique in that. And so it, it provides for a number of unique challenges. Challenges. My dad has been taking care of her for a very long time. He's done a wonderful job. I'm really proud of my dad. I'm really, really proud of him actually. And I think that uh, in going back, a lot of my concerns stem from the fact that as my sister and I were talking to him, we recognized there was this increasing, there's something going on. We could tell that things weren't going well and might be getting worse. And there was just a situation brewing. And so I'm really glad that I was able to grab a ticket when I did. I used air miles, so I was pretty limited in my options. Uh, but then I ended up extending that trip to last longer so I could spend more time with him. And I'm really, really glad that I did that because I think he just needed some support and some time and I cherished it. I really enjoyed all the time I got to spend with him. And I hope that I was helpful, but I know that it was really good, at least for me to spend all that time with him, whether it was sitting on the back porch and just looking at the stars and talking or, you know, going out and about and trying to do some stuff like get some new shoes or whatever, just to take our minds off things. It was really, really nice. And I'm really, really fortunate that I got to do that. In the midst of all that, it really highlighted for me just how exhausted I am. I went into it really, really tired. I had a very emotionally exhausting time. And uh, I, I definitely have been talking about wanting to figure out how and when I'm gonna be taking a break, how I'm gonna be taking better care of myself. I feel like with the vlog, the, the vlog, for those of you that aren't aware, this is a full-time job and has been a full-time job for me for pretty much three years. It only happens to be a full-time job that also pays the bills for like the last eight months or something like that. And before that, I was just cranking on this in the midst of like three or four jobs in total and that, marathon over the last thousand plus videos has taken its toll. And for the most part, I'm really grateful for it. I'm really, really happy to be making a video every day. And it's going to be very hard for me to stop because it's not just something that I love, but it's a lifestyle that I've created for myself. Making a video every day like this is very much a lifestyle choice. I, it determines so much of what I do, how I go about living my life. I wake up in the morning and I jump straight on comments or you know whatever other stuff I have to get done when, while I'm still blurry at it in bed. I start filming as soon as I'm down here most days and then go out and film my whole day, whatever it is I'm doing, try to get other stuff done, other projects, just stay on top of you know regular life as well. Come home, edit, go to bed. 
that has been the pace of my life for a really long time. And for a while, I was only getting a few hours of sleep a night as well, which was not great. Thankfully, I've made a lot of strides though. I've been able to make sleep more of a priority. I've been able to spend more time with friends lately. I've been cutting down on a lot of the ex extra stuff that I've been doing and focusing in on making sure that this is the best video that it can be every day. And that I'm also trying to take as good of care of myself as I can, which I'm not doing as good a job of that as I would like to be doing. But it's really hard to fit new things into that lifestyle because it is pretty jam packed and doesn't really leave a lot of space for anything. But while I was back in the States with my dad and while I, uh, just even this morning, sitting here, I've been thinking a lot about, okay, well, what are the projects that I want to be working on? What are the ways I need to iterate? What are the ways I need to change? I think that the iteration needs to come just naturally because YouTube is not necessarily the biggest fan of daily content anymore. So from like a logistical or just, you know, practical standpoint, doing this daily every more is probably not the best for my channel. I know that there are a lot of people out there that would watch more of my videos if I just didn't make one every day. I know there are a lot of people out there that love watching my videos every day though and watch it with their coffee or however that goes in their day. And that's an honor that the fact that there are probably a couple thousand people out there that watch almost every day if not every day is nuts but then the question becomes is it also slowing and stunting the growth of my channel and is it slowing and stunting my growth as a human being because everything gets warped into this I make jokes about how like I don't have to remember anything anymore because it's all in my vlog that's unfortunately not entirely a joke I don't really remember a lot of things anymore. My short-term memory is not as sharp as it used to be. There are a number of issues I feel like that I have because of this lifestyle uh, that aren't like life-threatening or anything, but I, I've, my health is always on the verge of taking a turn. And I felt that going back to the States and coming back here, just the stress and the, the wear on my body and on just me is there and something that needs to be dealt with. So I didn't mean to go down the route of like where I, I am health-wise. I feel like I'm making good strides and I've got a good balance and looking forward, I wanna maintain a good balance uh, for the next three months because the next, uh, we're in the final quarter of this season of my vlog. For those of you who wonder how long are my seasons, I get that question all the time. They're 54 weeks long, which is stupid. But the reason that I did that was because I wanted to make at least a year's worth of intros that first year in the first vlog. If you go on to see how that is done and where the intros come from, just go all the way back to the first vlog, you will get a very behind the scenes look at the creation process of the original seven characters for the vlog. But then I was like, well, I wanna have two extra weeks just in case I need them, just in case there's an overlap or something, or I, I just wanna, you know, I need more intros. So I made 54 weeks worth of intros that day and then wanted to use them all. So I used them all and that defined the length of the first season. When I came around to the second season, figured I should do the same thing. And then when I made the third season, I didn't even take a break and figured I should do the same thing again. And it's just been silly. But that silliness has been overall phenomenal. I really have really, really enjoyed vlogging every day and, and intend to do so through the rest of the season. I wanna finish as strong as I can. So what that means for the channel and what that means for the videos I'm gonna be producing and hopefully that you're gonna be watching and enjoying is finding a nice balance between doing stuff like this, like regular, the old, I haven't done a lot of like the same old school sit down video style stuff that I had done in the past. I wanna make sure to integrate some of that just to give myself some space. It's been very, very good for me today just to take it easy in the morning and I'm gonna go see a movie with some friends tonight and that's it and I really really need that but I also want to be hitting uh, you know other searchable French Parisian content as I go and I want to kind of I mean to be honest I want to dominate the listings for Paris and YouTube by the time I finish so I want to hit all the major museums all the major sites just knock them all out and and share a lot of Paris over the next three months partially because I really enjoy it like when we went into Musée d'Orsay that was a really really nice experience I had a really good time wandering around in there and partially because I feel like this is my last great opportunity to really dive deep and own those search results own those listings for Paris on YouTube and then it's gonna be time to transition and I think a lot of that like I said comes from both YouTube's not gonna help me out if I continue doing this daily my health probably won't hold up if I continue doing this daily and I think it opens up a lot of really cool opportunities opportunities to do some fun things and some better planned things and some higher quality things, dare I say it, than I'm able to do when I'm just plodding along on a daily basis like this. One of the things that I've said that you probably heard me say before is that one of the real downfalls to vlogging daily is I don't have any time or energy or even desire left to do any research of any kind. I barely have it. I've, I've started doing some work on learning more about my camera, for example, and I really enjoy it. Don't really have 
the time or energy to do that. And I don't have the time or energy. I've, there are a number of things that I really can't dive into as deeply as I would like to on the video side. So I think that that will be a benefit when the time comes. I also think that I could just benefit from a massive break. And the way that that break is going to look most likely is that once the season is over, I'm going to take a month and make maybe a video a week for that month and just reassess and see how I feel. And if I need another month after that, I might take that and still do just one video a week. But the plan would be to come back and do three videos a week from then on. And I'll tell you more about the structure of that when I get like I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna do for that But I want to continue to I want to give myself a little bit of time and space to really be sure But that said I felt this morning like with the, the pace of life going and seeing a friend having some coffee Reading in my book there was something that I just need more of that in my life anyways But it also reinvigorated the love for this city that I have that I feel like gets quashed by the constant Never-ending pressure to make the next video and it's not a pressure that is even external or I don't I don't exert that pressure on myself necessarily in like an active or explicit way so much as it's just there it's part of my lifestyle it's part of the discipline it has to get done every day and so I'm kind of excited for that transition I'm increasingly excited for that transition I think that it's gonna be really really good when the time comes so that's exciting but it also means that these last three months of vlogging daily is something that I want to make sure that I capitalize on that I do as well as I possibly can and that I finish really strongly and that's why I thought I'd share with you just a little bit to know like okay the last couple weeks have been really slow this week's probably gonna be a little bit slow because I had some family stuff some personal stuff but also because I was hitting a wall and as I slow down for a little bit to make sure that I'm doing well I'm at the same time feeling increasingly motivated and increasingly excited to jump just head first into the next three months I really really am I and I don't want anyone to think that I have burned out or I'm at risk of burning out or that I there's any danger I don't think there's any danger here at all as long as I listen to my body in particular take some rest get back into running here this week and then approach the next and final quarter of my daily vlog with vigor and I'm really excited for that and I have some really cool projects coming up that I'm really really excited to dive into I just don't necessarily have the energy because of the daily vlog and I think that the transition is going to be really good both for the video content and then for some other stuff that I think you'll find really fun and interesting if only I could find the time and energy to pursue it I think that's it I think that's all I've got if you're interested in knowing more I let me know in the comments below it's something that I'll probably revisit again in the coming weeks especially as things evolve and as we look to the future and what the possibilities really are and of course if you want to be a part of not only this stage and the daily vlog but you want to be a part of the future you want to be a part of the other projects that are coming the changes to the videos that I'm making but also some really cool long-term projects that I'm hoping to really dive into patreon is a great way to dive in and thank you to my patrons who have gotten me to this stage and keep me going because it's been phenomenal we've been toying with this there's a goal on patreon uh, to unlock a worldwide travel poll which would send me out to do a vlog almost anywhere in the world I have I actually have an idea for how I'm gonna qualify the very first one that I think will be really fun we've kind of we've crossed the line and gone back and forth a little bit lately and then the first of the month there are always a bunch of people that drop naturally because their credit cards have expired but the theoretically in the next week or so and if a bunch of you jump on this is bound to happen this probably this week we're gonna unlock a worldwide travel poll which I'm gonna throw up and that means that we're gonna, we're gonna go somewhere cool. And I, I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. So there's some cool stuff coming, but if you wanna be a part of supporting the channel, just like all these other amazing people that are supporting it right now, that is gonna be a great way to do it. And I have some other fun stuff coming in the not too distant future for that, that's in my calendar. And I wanna keep planning and I wanna keep figuring this out and have a really good last three months of the daily vlog before we evolve into the next stage because I think that this next stage is actually going to be really really fun and a good change for everyone maybe except for the people that need uh, their coffee fix in the morning uh, that's okay most of you still have a few hundred if not a full thousand vlogs to go back and watch so you can watch your way back through in the morning if you really wanted to and that'd be fantastic as well there's of course a playlist for the vlog a day which is missing a few videos that I got to go back in and replace but again who has the time or energy to go fix these things because I don't I should I really want to but I, I, I don't have the energy. I'm gonna end it here. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are and you're off to a fantastic week. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for a visit to Atelier de Lumière, one of the places that I've been wanting to go for a long time just haven't made it yet and I will see you for that.